Learn how to get every open order from Binance with this episode. There's a few things you need in order to complete this episode. The first thing you need is a connection to Binance because that's where we're going to be getting our trading data from. The second thing you need is to have completed the Binance authentication. Now, because we'll be working with your particular orders as opposed to just getting generic market information, that Binance authentication really needs to include your API key and your secret key. In a previous episode, which I've linked in the description below, I show you how to go about doing that. So once you're ready with that information, let's continue. Here's what we're going to do in this particular function. We're going to query the Binance exchange to get a list of your particular open orders. And that's going to be quite useful because as we continue this course, we then need to go into those open orders and sometimes modify them, sometimes make trades with them, a whole bunch of things. So this function kind of is the fundamentals of all of that. We'll call the function get underscore open underscore orders, which makes it really, really simple to know what it's going to do for you. Okay, we don't want historical orders or anything like that. We just want open orders. And there's two parameters that we're going to pass it. First of all is your project settings, which is your JSON dictionary, which includes things like a link to where your API config.ini is. And also, of course, the symbol that we want to get the information um, about. Okay, so I'm going to update my, com my comments on here, which is something I do for all of my code. And for those of you who's followed me for a while, I always give a shout out to code commenting in every single video that I do on code. Uh, and then I've also linked in there the documentation that kind of describes how the API works. And that's straight from Binance, so super helpful there. Um, all right, so just finishing up my comments there and specifying what is coming in there. Uh, and then ultimately, we're going to return uh, the open order or open orders, I should say. A quick shout out there. I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I really, really desire to keep doing this. And when you subscribe to me and you kind of watch what I'm doing and promote it with your friends and that kind of thing, that really helps me to keep on doing it. So please take a minute to subscribe and share it with your family and friends. I'd really appreciate that. All right, I'll chuck in the pseudocode here because I often find when people watch my videos, they like to come back to this and kind of modify it for their own purposes. So this will give you insight as to what I'm thinking when I'm building this function. The first thing that we need to do is to get our API keys. And in a previous episode, I showed you how to do that using the really awesome little config.ini setup that, um, that Binance has developed. Then we want to set up the client, instantiate it. Then we want to get our orders and we want to return those orders uh, back to whatever is calling that function. Okay, so there's the function. We're going to call it here. And we'll instantiate our little client class, which uh, is comes straight from the Binance library. Using our API key and secret key. And then we'll retrieve all of the open orders for a given symbol. Returning those orders back. 